Good evening everyone. Welcome to Nerd Science. If it's not evening for you, it may be evening for some people on the other part of the globe and some in parallel universe. Yes, that's it. Parallel universe. Today, we are going to discuss about parallel universe. Recently, some of you might have heard a media boom about the existence of a parallel universe. And what's more interesting about it is that the time runs reverse in this parallel universe. Oh, now that's a huge deal for science and fantasy nerd likes us. It all started from a paywall news report published in New Scientist magazine on April 8th this year, which led to some online outlets borrowing this report and piled the curiosity. Here is what the report said. Explaining this signal requires the existence of a topsy-turvy universe created in the same Big Bang as our own and existing in parallel with it. In this mirror world, positive is negative, left is right and time runs backwards. It is perhaps the most mind-melting idea ever to have emerged from the Antarctic ice. But it might just be true. Reads the report. Is this theory really enough for such a claim? That's what this video is about. Let's find out. In 2006, a balloon-based experiment by ANITA showed for Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna 1, which was launched from McMurdo, Antarctica. Attached to a NASA long-duration balloon, the antenna flew a total of four missions from 2006 to 2016. That's how NASA has been beeping around the parallel universe news ever since. ANITA has made four flights over Antarctica and managed to detect numerous cosmic rays. These radio waves are created by neutrino showers and they are reflected off the ice before they reach ANITA. Neutrinos are ultra lightweight charges particles because of which they can travel through the entire planet without being affected. The ultra high energy neutrinos however have wider cross section meaning they are more likely to collide with each other particles as they pass and their interaction gives a snap of radio frequencies. To receive these faint signals known as Ascarian pulses scientists needed a place without other noises. They also need a lot of radio transparent medium so that high energy particle interaction can occur but the Ascarian pulses can still propagate. A medium like ice is what suits the best and that's how Antarctica was chosen. Anita had been picking these pulses and the source was directly beneath the ice as if the signal was popping out of the earth. This was something against the standard model of particles. To confirm the projection readings, the ice cube experiment which was taken and it matches the readings from ANITA. Principal ANITA investigator Peter Goham, an experimental particle physicist at the University of Hawaii, suggested that the only way the neutrino could behave this way if it is changed into a different type of particle before passing through the earth and then back again. Goham, describing the old phenomenon, noted that he and his fellow researchers had seen several of these impossible events which some were skeptical about. Not everyone was comfortable with this hypothesis, he told New Scientist. The simplest explanation for this phenomenon is that at the moment of the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago, two universes were formed, ours and the one that from our perspective is running in reverse. With our existing theory, this is actually an explanation or we are too immature of the behavior of the universe. This was one theory that can actually explain the findings. Well. It is not necessary that it is the only reason why this hype of event occurred. This is actually what really happened. See how a small statement was dubbed and omitted differently. Social media and the internet are after some catchy tags. And we, without knowing the content, will just share it. See how NASA was dragged into the matter. And now we can see news that NASA discovered a parallel universe. Funny, right? So, before reading all these catchy news and sharing it, be wise to know the content or at least confirm its source. Or you could just subscribe to my channel to know all the latest genuine science stuff and not become a chump who would just share all the silly fake stuff. Till then, see you on the next one. Thank you.